hello guys welcome back to the channel and in this video i'm going to show you the simplest way to complete this lab so first of all just log in with your credentials and in the search bar search for the data prep okay just search for the data prep over here open this thing in new tab now just click on this all the terms and conditions like this click on this checkbox and agree and continue Click on this checkbox and click on accept. Click on continue. Now what you have to do, if you want you can use this lab name or you can use the GSP number. I am going to use the GSP number. So what you have to do, just copy this GSP number, go to my telegram channel. The link is in description box. Open that link. Now in the search bar, search for the hashtag GSP number and you will get one file so just save this file to your local system like this now just simply click on this planes from here click on this planes click on this import click on choose file and just import that file the name of the file is quicklab912 okay just import open it will take a couple of seconds so just wait for that and click on close now double click over here and now if you just click on this first option you can see just cross verify this project id so this is b731 and for my project id change so we have to just make this project id changes so just right click over here click on this view inflow then click on this data set and right click over here and then click on this edit parameters so just click on that now just copy your project id make the changes over here and then click on update and once you click on update you can see this path then click on update so done you have done with this thing now what you have to do just simply click on this output and then click on run now just simply click on this three dot and click on delete then click on add new publication icon now just simply come on the task number seven okay scroll down a little bit and from the point number five just copy this path carefully and then click on this three uh, pencil icon and just remove all this thing and paste this now again copy your project id and just make the changes carefully like this okay once you're done with these changes just simply click on go once you click on go you can see this two folder now click on this create a new file and now click on this parameterize destination now here what you have to do just from the point number seven just copy this make the changes over here like this and now just move your cursor between these two forward slashes like this okay then click on this and now what you have to do just copy this name place the name over here like this and then copy the training and paste over here as simple as that then click on save make sure you have to do this step carefully then click on submit now what you have to do just choose this option replace this file then click on more option from here choose the this checkbox and the file format must be single file then click on add and click on run so that's the thing you have to done now if you just simply scroll down so you are done with the task number eight now for the task number nine just copy this command go back to your dashboard activate your cloud shell click on continue click on got it okay now just run the command over here and click on authorize 
now you are done with this now just open this link in incognito window okay now here ma many of you guys face the issue okay let me just first of all just click on the sign in option choose your student id and here most of you guys face the issue like like you are not getting a output like this you are not able to get token the reason behind that most of you guys doing the lab in different browser and it not allowed to access your uh, cache so before doing that just do one thing open your notepad i'm just going to use online notepad now what you have to do once you click on the sign in option you can see this eye icon just click on that then click on this if you are using the chrome browser i'm talking about that then click on this site is not working and just allow the cookies you have to just allow the cookies once you click on that you can able to get your token so just copy this token and place to your notepad because token change after every 60 seconds so just place it over here and now just simply scroll down we will check the score for at last now what just simply come over here then click on the planes then click on name and now click on this second option and here please pay attention because this is a very important task and first of all just remove all these things from the authorization things and now just type peers and you can see just if you just type b you can see beers just choose that and once you choose that just give one space like this okay now just go back to your notepad and copy all your token and paste over here okay beers and then give space and paste your token okay i hope you guys do this thing carefully now for the body i, I will recommend you just remove all this content go back to the task number 11 and from here just copy this content paste this content to your notepad like this let me just increase the size okay now here we have to just change a bucket name so just copy your project id and change the bucket name carefully like this gs colon forward slash project id forward slash like this now just copy all this content go back to your flows and just paste over here your body must be look like this if it's so just simply click on save it's been saved now click on run now this is going to take around two to three minutes to complete it now if you just simply come on the task number seven and just simply scroll down and click on the check my progress okay just simply come on the task number eight and click on check my progress you will get a score without any issue now just check the score for task number 10 you will get a score without any issue now just wait for at least one to two minutes and the status will be completed and after 1 minute and 28 second the status has been complete now if you just simply come over here and if you think like i will get a score no because as per the lab instruction after completing this thing we have to wait for 5 to 10 minutes okay so now just wait for 5 to 10 minutes and after that we will get a score on this class you don't have to do all these things from the task number 3 all these things i already created for you and if you the if you like the way 
i solve this lab please give one thumbs up and comment down below is this helpful for you or not so that other people can follow these steps okay so now just wait for 5 to 10 minutes and after that we will get a score on the last task also
okay so now we have spent around five to six minutes over here now if i just simply click on check my progress and let's see we got a score or not so we still not got the score okay we finished at 440 and it's 447 means seven minutes now it's been eight minutes has been gone and still we didn't get a score now again wait for two minutes more and after that we will check again over here Okay, now again click on check my progress let's see and we got a score so as i said lab take time 10 minutes for me okay so now just nothing so thanks for watching guys and have a good day